We are back. And you know, a lot of times we think of our kids as mini me's because they uh, look like us, they act like us, but their bodies are so very different. What works for you at the doctor's office probably does not work for them, and that includes the chiropractor, okay? So here to help us to understand how you deal with those differently is Dr. Jay Broadwin of Broadwin and Associates, and he is our chiropractic expert. Hello. Hi, Dee. Nice to have you here. Those little mini-me's are so very different. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, people think that uh, you're either too young or too old to go to the chiropractor. Uh -huh. Sometimes they, they're not really sure when to go for their neck or back problems, but obviously anybody can have neck or back problems. We have a lot of softball pitchers, we uh -huh. have cheerleaders, and then we have people like your mom who's in their 80s, uh -huh. and we're gonna treat every one of them differently. Wow, I'll tell you what, I did a little <clears throat> reading, I knew you were coming, and this was in the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association's journal, and a lot of young mothers may have thought about this. There was a study, and it involved 44 infants. 43 of the 44 had ear infections, and they were able to clear them up with chiropractic adjustments. Right. Because they had suffered, what, trauma in the birth right. canal? Right, well, if, if you think about it, not everybody just pops their baby out. Uh-huh. Some people really labor. That's uh -huh. why it's called labor, right? They have to work at it. And sometimes forceps are used, vacuums are used, or you get a, an emergency C-section. So the baby's fine and everything goes well, but there's a lot of tension on that neck. You're uh -huh. pulling, you're pu getting Ooh. shoulders through. Yeah. There's a lot of tension. And obviously nobody's thinking about it because you want your baby to be healthy. Mm -hmm. But that little bit of trauma can cause all sorts of problems to the infant. It mm -hmm. can cause earaches, colic, uh, reflux. And we don't know. We're wondering what's wrong with my baby. Don't um. Absolutely don't think about it. That's why we have Dr. Mike at our office who's pediatric certified and he mm -hmm. treats babies all the way to newborns uh, till you know three or four to their little people and th there's definite trauma there but you're not thinking about it because you want your child to be okay Wow! but and there's other things there that need to be checked and if you think about the process it makes sense <laughs> yes. that there could be some neck problem uh-huh wow so moving on up when they get in the third grade fifth grade sure. sixth grade we don't generally think about taking the kids with us someone this age that's right and and, and just the other day uh, somebody in my family had a concussion in football mm -hmm. so oh, if wow. you want to get if you have a concussion and you think it's serious enough to get an MRI then obviously one would think that you have some neck injury as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to make sure, the chiropractor wants to make sure that people are healing properly. It's not always about the pain, it's about knowing that something happened Ooh. and making sure you don't get a repercussion from mm -hmm. it later on. Wow. Like you know, if you hit the tires on your car and you get out of alignment, and you, your car is shaking along, you mm -hmm. better get it fixed because otherwise you're gonna need a new set of tires. Wow, and then the, it moves on. It moves on, we get older, and like you said, my mother's 84, and some of her biggest relief now comes from the chiropractor, not from meds. Well, not, not from, from the chiropractor, from me, dear. <laughs> yes, from you, the chiropractor. But, but also, and if she stands up straighter, sure, her and, life is and, better. And for uh -huh. all the older people out there, you know, we're not going to correct or we're not going to fix all of your problems that you've achieved from age or mileage, but we're going to manage them and maintain them as well as we can and make sure that they're going to affect your life in as little a way as possible to make sure that you're staying functionally healthy mm -hmm. and mobile and uh, getting the best you can. So everybody along the different phases will be treated differently. Not everybody like some medical doctors think it's crack, pop, this mm -hmm. or that, or don't do this, you're too old, or you have osteoporosis. Everybody's going to be treated differently and their treatment will be tailored to their specific and needs. And this is such a sports town for all ages. Um, there used to be a saying old people would say, if you don't get it fixed now, it's going to get you when you're older. That's <laughs> yes. right. Well, so that's something, yeah. Well, and we're all, we're all aware of that. And mm -hmm. you know, on the sports field, you have uh, surgeons and fellows and uh, athletic trainers for those injuries when they break something or, or something bad happens. But if they're getting beat up like that and they're worried about in football about concussions mm -hmm. and brain injuries, then think about the stuff that you don't see, the neck, the spine. All those things in sports need wow. to be taken care of. And how can they get in touch with you? Obviously, you can give us a call at 706-563-3370, or there is a copy of our website, drjbroadwin.com.
I think the last time I saw you, I sprained my ankle. It's doing fine, Jay. Good. good <laughs> okay, good. thanks so much. Thank you. When we come back, you know, all kinds of uh, things are available. There's a contest out there. Why not win stuff for writing? That's what you can talk with your kids about. We'll tell you that and more after the break. Don't go away.